whatever's convenient to them. I know a lot of generals, I mean, have probably about four or three or four in the last couple of weeks have lost their jobs. I think and I've heard uh, from, the Iraqi, from the Iraqi news that there's been a mutiny uh, going on with the soldiers over in Iraq. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, those guys want to come home. They should have been home to begin with. The underground patriot military is our last hope. Yeah, and, and you know, I've always seen it uh, for when it starts to get really bad here because they're going to have all of our troops all over the world and our, our country is going to be totally inundated with foreign troops. And, and I've seen uh, where our, our soldiers will totally just commander and overtake airplanes just to come home. Oh, yeah. Who's going to stop them? Yeah, I mean, there's going to be a mutiny in our militaries around the world once America gets invaded. Uh, but it's going to be too little too late. Unfortunately. You know, 90%, 75% of Americans, uh, by the time all is said and done, are going to be killed. we are dead here in America. And so that's what we have to look forward to. You know, we're supposed to be on a mission, repent, or this is going to befall you. Uh, I just, you know, I'm just like, I'm, I'm past the repent part. It's like, get, brace yourself, folks. <laughs> this is coming. Because you people, he was mad. The one thing this country just refuses to do is repent. I mean, we get worse. We don't get any better. But gee, what, what, what Ten Commandments statue can we take down next? Exactly. You know, and, and so <laughs> I've gotten past the repenting part, and it's like, let's just brace to prepare for the worst. Oh, yeah, I mean, once the, once the storm is upon you, it's a little, you know, light for that. Now you just got to hope you can survive, and, you know, if you do, then repent. But, yeah, I know what you mean. It's, you know, you can only tell and tell for so long, and now it's survival mode. Yeah, and that's what I feel the Lord has been putting on me is the survival mode. Prepare them, get them prepared, because... Oh, my God, Sherry, you've done your job. I mean, you've done what, you know, part of what you... I mean, there may be more for you to do. I mean, only you, would, you and the Lord would know that, but, yeah, that's time. You've got to look out for yourself. <laughs> no sense in telling us all, and then next thing you know, you're swept away in some, you know, godforsaken disaster. Excuse me, but, you know, but I mean, you, you've got to look out for your own family. Well, that, that's just, you know, I'm going down with the ship. I'm not leaving the country. Uh, a lot of people who know what's coming, we're still here. We're still here. We urge everybody else to prepare and get out of the country or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but, but we're still here, and we know what's going to befall us. We know. And, and so it does, you know... Because the Lord would always tell his people ahead of time. And, and, and we know the things that are going to befall us. I do. A lot, I don't know what other people do. And we prepare for that. It's just the, it's the, the price we pay. And, and we willingly do that. We willingly give that up. You know, and so we're just here hammering away for as long as we can. Oh, well, God bless you, Sherry. You know, because once, once I have no longer will have ac a access to the Internet or the telephones or anything, what else is there to do? I would be bored silly. <laughs> I really would. I would just be bored silly. I would just be out helping. And, and you know what? If I wasn't tied down here, I would be in, in Louisiana right now. You know, I would be over at Camp Casey helping send Sheehan. Uh, but right now, this is where I'm supposed to be. Uh, but, yeah. Most of us can start doing things like that, too. Yeah, and eventually we're going to be able to get out get out and do things when the Lord, you know, comes forth as two armies of 144,000, then we'll be out and be able to have some more fun. Um, to me, this is fun. I mean, I love getting, just kicking them off to death. I mean, I, I just love exposing their plans. <laughs> <laughs> we love hearing it. Yeah, I like exposing their plans and, and everything I can do to, to, to ruin his plans, throw monkey wrenches and them, exposing them for what they are, uh, and doing anything possible while we can. And then later, it'll just be on a more different level. You know, but for now, people just need to get prepared uh, because I can see a lot of the destruction coming. I, you know, I, I spent a lot of time last week on Chuck Dungrant. Not even sure who he is. Not even sure I agree because it was things I, I disagree with. The Lord never gives dates, and he gave specific dates, and so those were red flags to me. Uh, but the reason I went ahead and gave those prophecies he gave is because I've seen the same things in the Bible codes. I've seen the same things in visions. Right. And, and so there was a lot of truth to it as well. And so, yeah, it doesn't look pretty for America. The next year um, does not look pretty. We have about six more months here. And so I know people are going to wait until the fifth and sixth month to start preparing. And I'll tell you what, the stores are going to be uh, empty by then because I've seen where there's going to be uh, no more MREs to buy because people have pre-stacked. Yeah. And they've bought them out. And so people need to start now. And they're coming in from so many, they're attacking us in so many different areas. You yeah. know, and yeah, it's always something. It's when, and it's so hard. I, I'm at to the point now where I am. I'm at in my little world. 
I can't even talk to anybody because if you don't understand the basic, you know, of the Illuminati of what's going on, to explain it to you would, you know, just in basics would take half a day. Oh, I know, I know. And people do not want to read, they do not want to investigate, and it, that's even if you get them to listen to you. I don't want you rattling their boxes. I'm going to go back to the couch. No, you know, they, they, they don't want to be uncomfortable. Don't tell them stuff that's going to make them uncomfortable. They could have church to hear some good things. You're going to get real uncomfortable here in a minute. You know? And so, yeah. I mean, we're all in the same boat. Everybody I know is like, I can't talk to people. You know what? I'm in the same way. I'm on the same. That's why I do radio shows, because I can't do it in person. It's a waste of time. <laughs> <laughs> so I do a radio show to dial in to listen. You know? It's not like talking to a wall. Oh, boy. It's like going insane. And one of my biggest audiences right now that's rising, uh, listening to the archives of the show is China. Uh, because they're not getting more and more access to the Internet. They're not blocking as much. Right. Uh, they used to block all my sites. Uh, but they're getting access to them now. And, and so, you know, it's global. People don't understand. We have a global uh, global audience of people always interested in going out with America. America is like really the telltale signal. When you see America destroyed, you know you're in the tribulation period. <laughs> yeah, it's because like the old saying, as GM goes, so goes the country. Now, as America goes, so goes the world. Yeah, and those people in these countries, you better be stacking up, preparing, because when the spread basket goes down, you're going to be out of a lot of food. I mean, oh, people don't boy. understand that. People cheer and cheer about America being destroyed and call us the great Satan, and I've always said there's a lot of prophetic wisdom in that. Uh, but, you know what, when we go down, we're no longer going to be feeding all these other countries. And That's so they're right. going to be hurting. Minor inconvenience there. Yeah, and so they need to be stacking up on food and weapons the same. Yeah, especially weapons so you can defend yourselves and your families. I get so tired of hearing these people saying that we're supposed to just roll over like doormats and die. And that's not true. Defend yourself, defend your families. Uh, and, and stack up on food and water and get out of residential areas. Get off to yourself somewhere. Get in the woods. Get isolated. Stay hidden. Best advice I give anybody. Don't don't plan to team up with groups and communities or whatever. Those are targets. Yeah. The safest is being on your own somewhere. Get in the woods because they're going to have, uh, you know, helicopters all over the place and, you know, be able to find people that are in open areas. People need to dig in, dig under, dig out caves. I'm to the point now where with uh, the vehicle, next vehicle that I'm getting, I'm, uh, I knew of a place in California, but there are other places that do it that are going to be taking all the electronics out of the car, and basically it's going to be a car from, oh, I guess 30 years back without the electronics in it because of, I can't afford to have a car with electronics when there's an EMP burst. I know, but you know what, there are mechanics I've heard that you can pay money to, yeah. and they will take out the GPS tracking chip. Yeah, and, and they're in there. Yeah, and if you could have anything run, because all cars now being made are made off computers. Exactly. You get all those chips taken out, yeah, and get back to the originals. I think the 70s cars are still pretty safe, maybe the early 80s. Yeah, uh, but my first car was an 87 Camaro, and that, uh, that, that had electronics in it. Yeah, well, yeah, you got to get, uh, I don't think, I have an 84 uh, Jeep Wrangler. Uh, it's been sitting around forever, just kind of holding on to it for my son, and I don't think that has a chip in it. It does nothing. So that would probably be the only vehicle we have that runs. <laughs> Push comes the show, you know. This is my old Jeep Wrangler or whatever it is. It's not Jeep Cherokee because nothing else is going to run. Newer cars aren't going to run. The 90s vehicle cars aren't going to run. And most people drive 90s cars. Yeah. They're not going to run because they're all based on a ch they've got GPS tracking. And anything on GPS tracking or electronics, they can put a, turn a switch, the off switch on from space. Do you know any people are out there that don't even know what we're talking about with an EMP burst? <laughs> they don't even have a clue. Yeah, well, you know what I've seen? I've seen thousands of cars.